and after about 10 seconds you come to what's called the Atari desktop which is what we're looking at here now what we're going to do now is actually optional um, but it does actually save a lot of time it's called setting up an automatic loading for programs so this is automatic loading of your notator program as I say it is optional so you can just go straight through as normal and just load the program if you're going to do that the steps are as follows move the arrow onto floppy disk A double click with the left button and then double click on notator program now we're not going to do that we're going to set up this automatic loading first of all so click once on notator prog like that it goes black go up to menu options and when the arrow touches options there goes the menu click on install application once with the left button click on auto so it goes black and then click on install like that there. the last thing to do is to go to menu options again and click on save desktop with the left button and click on OK and that's it now whenever you turn the computer on again with that notator disk in it will automatically load notator program okay so switch the computer off and then on again and will load notator program automatically and there's notator program loading it takes about a minute from the floppy drive to load if you're going from hard drive approximately 10 seconds um, so a lot quicker from there once it's finished its loading it goes into the welcome page and there we have the welcome page all you've got to do is click on exit in bottom right hand corner with the left button zap and there we are into the main page of the sequencer now before we go into setting up our auto load song what we're going to do is talk a little bit about the mouse and then about menus so first of all the mouse let's have a close look at that here we have a dramatic close-up of our mouse then the way this works is as follows first of all how to hold the mouse now this is very important when your hands go onto the mouse always make sure your two fingers fall over the two buttons like so and the other fingers grip the side of the mouse so you have total control so always put two fingers over the two buttons and the other fingers holding the mouse don't move it around like this and then stab at the buttons because you'll probably miss the things you're trying to do on the screen now there are two buttons on there the left button and the right button the left button here I call the doing button and basically when we move the arrow around the screen and point at something we click on it or select it by simply clicking once with the left button the left button also does the double clicks which we use to load the program and also for naming boxes sometimes as well the right button I call the adjust button because that's used in combination with the left button to adjust the numbers on the screen let's say adjusting the tempo from 120 to 110 you'd use the right mouse button to go down and the left mouse, left mouse button to go up so left I call the doing button does everything unless I say so everything on the screen is done with the left and adjusting is done with the right in combination with the left so that's the mouse now that moves the arrow around the screen the cursor around the screen and whenever that arrow touches any of the menu headings at the top of the page there we go those are the headings a menu drops down this is menu edit we can pull the mouse down that and from that list select things let's just select display parameters click with the left button we go into that page and we can click on OK to get out of there so it's very quick and easy to get around the program by using the mouse and using the menus at the top of the page